So let's take a look at the numbers. Our tail of the tape with Danny Garcia, Ivan Redcatch. Behind the reach in favor of Redcatch, Garcia clearly. He has been in there with the best in the world, 35 and two. 13 of his past 17 fights have been against world champions. He's gone 11 and two in those fights. And that is our tail of the tape. Terrific round on hand here at Barclays Center here in Brooklyn. Fantastic crowd. Can Danny Garcia go out and put together a memorable performance similar to that of how he did against Adrian Granados? And here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Barclays Center here in Brooklyn as Premier Boxing Champions presents the featured bout of the evening brought to you by DSG Promotions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime, sponsored by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing. This bout is sanctioned by the WBC President Mauricio Suleiman, supervisor is Jill Diamond. Our judges at ringside, from Connecticut, Glenn Feldman, from New York, Tony Paolillo, and from Connecticut, Don Trella. And we introduce our third man to the ring, the referee in charge of the action, Benji Estevez. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Silver Championship and welterweight world title eliminator. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, it's showtime! Introducing to you first, finding out of the red corner. Entering the ring wearing green trunks, white, black, and gold trim. He is fighting out of Los Angeles by way of Ukraine. He weighed in at 146 and three quarter pounds. A highly decorated amateur standout with a professional record standing at 23 wins, four losses, one draw, and one no decision. With 18 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the hard-hitting welterweight contender, introducing Ivan, the killer, Red Cash. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing sky blue trunks with black and white trim, fighting out of the proudly representing Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at the weight limit of 147 pounds. His record stands at 35 wins, two losses, with 21 wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked number two by the WBC. Here is the celebrated two-division world champion and one of boxing's elite welterweight contenders. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former unified super lightweight world champion and the former WBC welterweight champion of the world, introducing Danny Swift. Once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Benji Estevez. Okay, Danny, Ivan, I've already given you your pre-bout instructions. Keep it clean, obey my commands at all times, and most importantly, protect yourself at all times. Trunks are good here, trunks are good here. Good luck. Benji Estevez, a referee in charge. Danny Garcia embracing with his father, Angel Garcia. They have been a winning tandem for quite some time. Just one fight for Danny Garcia in 2019. He begins what he says will be a busy 2020. Garcia and Redcatch getting set to mix it up here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn as we are underway with Danny Garcia and Ivan Redcatch here at Barclays Center. Fantastic crowd on hand. Here in Brooklyn, Danny Garcia, no stranger to fighting here at Barclays Center, set the attendance record with Keith Thurman years ago. 
Jones. Here's a nice right hand to start things off for Garcia. Red catch is a softball standout amateur. Now trainer Jack Mosley as his lead trainer. Nice right hand to the body. Very good reception from the fans here at Barclay Center. A lot of them coming from Philadelphia, which is 94 miles away from right here in Brooklyn. And clearly, the fan support behind Danny Garcia. You hear the chants of Danny. Nice right hand by the former champion. Good left hook to the body by Garcia. Seals targeting Red Catch's body. Red Catch, this is his second fight here at 147. For Garcia, this is his eighth fight at 147. Red Catch hasn't thrown anything significant. See him with the light through the body of Red Catch. There's a big right hand by Garcia. Both are tied up. They almost tripped over each other's feet. Benji Estevez referee charge. I think one of the best referees in the business is Benji Estevez. There's a straight left and red catch. Ray Flores ringside here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Great to be here as we are in the first month of 2020. Look forward to many more outstanding boxing events, final moments of the first. And round one draws to a close. is Garcia's first southpaw opponent since he fought Robert Guerrero back go, 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 go. in January of 2016. Can't believe that was four years ago at Staples Center. Danny Garcia, no stranger to fighting on the big stage. Ivan Redcatch, the from the Ukraine, has lived in Los Angeles for about 11 years now, first round. Danny Garcia attacking the body of Red Catch. Garcia has plenty of power. He has that one punch eraser. Demonstrated that against Adrian Granados back in April of last year. A minute has come off the clock here in the second. Red Catch stepping forward. Garcia waiting for that opening. Anytime Danny Garcia is trying to set his feet, you have to be cognizant of it. If you're on the receiving end, because he can put you out with one punch. 
He's done it many times. The most masterful performance that I can remember out of Danny Garcia came in September of 2013. It was the co-main event of Mayweather and Canelo. And Lucas Matisse was steamrolling people at 140. Danny Garcia's father, Angel, said, I would, I am betting my head. And if my son loses to Matisse, I will shave my head. Well, you see, Angel Garcia has a good head of hair on him, meaning they won that fight decisively. They beat the Argentine, who was just crushing everybody, and they defeated him in grand fashion in Mach 3 unanimous decision victory. And even with the, what about the, the fight with Mauricio Herrera where he went down bottom in Puerto Rico? That was a close fight. Danny Garcia has blown out people. He's been in close fights. He's been amongst the elite in the division at both 140 and 147. And he still has plenty of career left. He hasn't sustained much damage per se. Looks very fresh with as many fights as he's been in, top level fights. This guy's been fighting at an elite level, I would say, I and mean, he knocked out Amir Khan in the next week back in 2012. Nice left hook by Garcia. He's been fighting elite probably for about getting close to 10 years. Final moments of the second straight left for red catch. And that ends the second. Don't pull back. Don't pull back like that. Go to the side. Give him angles. Round three. This one is scheduled for 12. Danny Garcia, Ivan Redcatch. Garcia said he wants to fight Manny Pacquiao or Errol Spence. He said that they've been talking about the fight with Pacquiao or been bannered around for about two years now. Curious to see if Redcatch will try to be at any point aggressive. Because so far he has not been aggressive. He said he was going to be the one to press the issue against Danny Garcia. Red catch, good head movement. But given that, his defense has certainly gotten better since working with Jack Mosley, the father of Sugar Shane Mosley, the former world champion. Garcia trying to close the distance to land that laser right hand. Also left hook potentially. There's a right to the body by Garcia. for Garcia. 65 seconds remaining in the third. There's a right hand smacking the head of Red Catch.
still not much that has happened. Even our main event, Danny Garcia maintaining his distance. As we near the conclusion of the third round, Danny Garcia aiming for his opening. And that ends the third. Ivan Redcatch goes back to the corner. Sit down. He's pulling this. Yeah. He's pulling this bag down. There's a big right hand for Garcia. Again, taking a look at it. Big shot by Danny. A lot of straight right hand. You turn right and you turn side for a little bit. When you do that naturally, live it, sir. Live it. Okay? Round four, this one is scheduled for 12. Danny Garcia, Ivan Rutt catch. Garcia trying to once again make a statement to the rest of the welterweight division. And chance of Danny echoing here. Barclay Center Garcia starting off more aggressive here in this fourth round. There's a left to the body by Redcatch. Now Garcia mixing up his attack. Right to the body by Garcia. Redcatch pursuing Garcia. He got clipped coming inside, I believe, with the counter left hook. Garcia looks in very good physical shape. He looks shredded. But Danny always comes in shape and ready to go. There's a lot now. Garcia mixing up his attack. Red catch, very awkward and unorthodox with his perky jerky style. Eighty seconds remaining in here in the fourth. There's a right hook that connected by Garcia. We are at a minute to go in the fourth. Benji Estep is watching the action. Big right hand, back up, red catch by Garcia. Garcia went to the body. Red catch. Absorbing some body shots. There's a sweeping right cross, partially blocked by red catch. If Garcia decides to really let his hands go, one would wonder how Redcatch would be able to deal with the combination of punching from Ivan. You know, how Redcatch would respond from the combination of punching. Garcia's still waiting because once he connects, it could be a white side, but Redcatch still in the fight. There's the ESG family. Taking a look by fighter sons with trainer fathers. 
take a look at that group. You see Danny Garcia, the Guerreros, the Haney's, the Porters, the Russells, Teofilo Lopez, the Inoues, just to name a few, the Figueroa's as well. Coming up on round five, scheduled for 12. Ivan Redcatch hasn't done anything significant here in this fight, but again, it's probably just the mindset. You know what, let me get into these later rounds and maybe I can start to turn things around in my favor. Redcatch steps in with a right hook. Red catch ties up Garcia. And if you're Danny Garcia, trains with his father, Angel Garcia, they are two peas in a pod, as they like to say. Angel's so proud of his son. I've been to their gym several times in Philadelphia. I can tell you when Danny had his homecoming fight against Samuel Vargas back some years ago that it was a big moment for them and fighting in Philadelphia, but Barclays Center has been Danny's home. He's made plenty of history here. And he's trying to do more of the same tonight against Ivan Redcatch and send the fans home happy with a decisive victory. On the other hand, Ivan Redcatch can change his life if he shocks the world and defeats Danny Garcia. We're coming up on the halfway point of the fifth round. Shots to the body by Garcia. Red catch, kind of flailing away, isn't sitting down in his punch as much. Good left hook. Curious to see if Danny will try to put together combinations here. Remember when Danny Garcia fought Paulie Malinacci here back in August of 2015. An impressive performance that evening. There's a right by Garcia on the top of that, a red catch. He's going to the body. There's a straight left, Danny Garcia. Takes it well. Garcia looking to open up. Good body work by Garcia. And there's a heavy shot by Garcia. Back in a break catch. Now Garcia knows that red catch has tasted his power. And you're starting to see vintage Danny Garcia. There's a big right hand. You gotta count, okay? When he misses, you count. Look at your left hand or a right hook. You go to that body, right hook. Work off the jab, though. Continue the jab until the jab to the head, all right? And then set him up for a straight left hand to the head. He's been going to the body, push a straight left hand to the head. Just the left hand to the head. Take, take, guys. But come back with a right hook or something. Against the ropes, you have to work. Let's go, right let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Look at Danny go to work, that right hand. As we are into the sixth round. This one is scheduled for 12. Ray Forrest ringside here. Happy New Year, everybody. Great to be with all of you. Here at Barclays Center, Danny Garcia, the former two division world champion, taking on Ivan Redcatch.
Last year, there was talk if prior to his unfortunate car accident, that Danny Garcia was going to match up against Errol Spence, but after the car accident, though, that derailed that from transpiring, which is why Garcia is here to fight Ivan Redcatch in a stay busy affair. Danny Garcia. <laughs> Red Catch isn't doing much of anything. And if you're Red Catch, you don't want to wake up tomorrow morning saying, I let a golden opportunity slip past me. There's a right hand, back it up. Red catch. Danny pawning away on the body. Garcia trying to size up Red catch. Here, the family of Danny Garcia saying, Come on, Danny, let's go. Garcia that connected on red catch. Some body work from the Philadelphia native. But again, red catch isn't doing much. of the sixth round between Danny Garcia and Ivan Redcatch. That ends the round. We're home. one is scheduled for 12. Danny Garcia in total control. And Danny is just walking down Ivan Redcatch, not respecting his power one iota. But if you're Redcatch, you got to start to get busy now because the first half of the fight, literally Redcatch didn't do anything significant. Now, again, against a puncher like Danny Garcia, you're going to have to take some chances in order to be successful. But it's just, I guess, easier said than done. Now, one thing I'll say this about Adrian Granados. Granados is the kind of guy that's going to come after you. Win, lose, or draw, you know Granados is going to come in, and he's going to give his best, and he's going to go out in his shield. Red catch, I know he's working with a new trainer, trying to work on some things, but I don't know if the move was to go to a new trainer before the biggest fight of your life. Stick to what got you to the dance. I overheard the corner of Ivan Redcatch that go, he's blocking punches, but is he throwing anything or answering back, so. We are literally right next to the red corner, which is why I was able to hear 
some of that internal conversation going on. Danny Garcia is getting some work here tonight, though. If he had any signs of ring rust, then that is likely dissipated. its destination for Garcia. Double jab for DSG. Red catch jumped in and he got popped with the right uppercut, I believe. There's a right by Garcia. says, okay, come on, Danny, come on, let's try to finish this guy off. Oh. There's a left hook by Garcia, followed by a straight right. And that ends the oh, ball. There's a big right hand, and red catch faces busted up. The, there's a laceration above the left eye, and that could be extremely problematic. Oh, you wash it off. That's it. That's all right. Let's take a look at, and we'll see how the cut happened. And it happened right there. Boom. A sharp, short shot, accurate, buckle, red catch. And later on in the round, Danny Garcia went back to work, snapping that back and started to open it up. And red catch walking gingerly to his corner, round eight, scheduled for 12. And I already can tell right now by the mindset of Danny Garcia, he is getting active, the fans are behind him, and I think he I is going to say, team. okay, enough of this toying around with Ivan Redcatch. Let me try to finish him off. Now, on the contrary, if Garcia goes and tries to really finish him off, but gets caught in the process, then who really looks worse for where? But Garcia is such a world-class fighter and has been elite for, I don't even say close to a decade. And he's still so young. That's what's crazy about Danny Garcia. Left hook to the body by DSG. And the right hand. And the left catch is starting to fade a little bit. You can see that his hands are coming down a little bit more. He sort of whisked away and tried to brush some of the blood from his left eye. But Garcia's in seek and destroy mode. Won't get Garcia if he opens up. There's a nice right uppercut. For Danny Garcia. Combination punching for the Philadelphia Native and two division world champion. Red catch is starting. His face is starting to become a mess. From those right hands from Danny Garcia. Look at that combination punching. Red catch is fading quick. Oh boy. His hands are starting to drop further. He's becoming an easier target for Danny Garcia. And Garcia sitting down in his punches and right catch pounds his chest. And to say, come on, bring it. Let's do it. I think Garcia's willing to oblige. Garcia steps back a little bit, waiting for his opening. There's a left hook.
is a right hand backed up red catch. Red catch, very nice guy. Family man, very nice guy, but he's fighting Danny Garcia, who is one of the best at 47. A straight left, partially blocked up by Garcia. There's a right hand. Triple right hand. Stop at the ball. The Danny Garcia show. And Red Cat still blood. Right. Get the mouth, mouth Get the mouth All right. Yeah, give me a mouth oh. You have to start working. Because otherwise, I didn't see it, so I can't call it. But I'll pay attention. I didn't see it. Right now, you take it. I'll pay attention. You're not punching back. You didn't hit, you're not punching back. Okay, that in. Okay, you have to start punching. Punch production. Remember what I talked about punch yes. production and hustling? You can't let this guy out hustling. Show some respect, don't fight him again. Okay? You have to fight back. You have to punch. It don't even have to be hard punching, but get some points. No, get some points. Fight back. Get your rhythm, man. And here's round seven. There is a nice punch by Ivan Redcatch. But Garcia in total control. Over the top. Doctor wants to see. The doctor wants to take a look at Ivan Redcatch. And they, they clear him right away. He's okay. They totally cleared him. See if Garcia puts and has an emphasis to try to take out Ivan Rutkin here in the ninth. Garcia starting to pound away on Redcatch. There's a left hook. Staggered Redcatch. Another right hand. And Garcia starting is aiming to open up. A right hand back up Redcatch. Seconds left here in the ninth. Danny Garcia toying and pounding away on red catch whenever he deems necessary. A right hand backing up red catch. It's damage. That's that the open water. Big laser right hand from Garcia. Ten seconds. We are nearing the conclusion of the ninth round as Danny Garcia is clobbering Ivan Redcatch and I'm sure they're going to have a talk in between rounds here. 
out of second. Take a deep breath. And round eight. Take a look at it. Benji Estevez. It was like, it was like, I think they, was he biting him on the neck? Did that really happen? They're saying he bit him on the shoulder. Well, I have seen some bizarre things in boxing, but that is uh, clearly. Let's go, seconds out, seconds out. Let's go, seconds out. Things that I have witnessed. If that was the case. Coming up on round 10. This one is scheduled for 12. Woo. There's straight left for Redcatch to start off the 10. Well, from the world of, I didn't think it was possible, potentially Ivan Redcatch might have bitten Danny Garcia's shoulder. Well, thankfully, no, um, there was no laceration. They do have mouthpieces in, so awfully difficult to do that. But what I do know is Danny Garcia is in total control of this main event here at Barclays Center. Curious to see, assuming the cards are where they're supposed to be, who Danny will match up against next. Jam by him. Red catch. Red catch trying to jab his way in. Midway part of the tenth. Looks like the blood is stopped streaming from the left eye of Ivan Redcatch. There's a sweeping right cross. Under a minute left here in the tenth. Break no punch. Ivan Redcatch busted up, but still coming forward, still throwing some punches. Redcatch shoots a straight left to the body of Garcia. a right hand that backed up and smacked the top of the skull. Oh, red catch. Territory you never you been get some past the tenth. Okay. So a new bond territory for red catch. Don't reach. There's no power on it when you reach it. Yeah. You're off balance when you reach. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Danny. Nice and Danny, how you feeling? Let's do this. And this one is scheduled for 12. 
Eddie Garcia, Ivan Redcatch here at Barclays Center. Great to be with all of you. We have a busy February. And Gary Russell Jr., Kistu Nyambayar. And Caleb Plant defending his super middleweight crown that'll be in his hometown of Nashville. Also, don't forget, Wilder Fury, number two. The world is talking about it. That'll be on February 22nd. What a night that will be in Las Vegas. <laughs> Round 11 scheduled for 12 for Danny Garcia. He's been hammering Redcatch with power punches. But Redcatch has stood up to much of the damage. I mean, the, the theme here tonight has been workman like decisions for what we've seen in our bouts tonight. Fult, Stephen Fulton dealt with some adversity against Arnold Hagai. Jared Hurd went ahead and defeated Francisco Santana. And Danny Garcia is hammering away upon Ivan Redcatch whenever he sees fit. here in the 11th. Red Catch and Garcia will tie up. The two will separate it. There's a big right hand that halted Red Catch in his tracks. Another one. some counters from Danny Garcia. Look at Garcia just pound away. And again, taking a look at it. Last round, good luck, guys. What are you talking about there in the gym? Well, I don't think you stay stuck with that. I want straight right in. I want you to beat him the fuck up if you let him in the fucking fight. Okay, you giving up these rounds, believe it or not. All right? I need you going there and beat him the fuck up. Let's go, check us out. Get that score, let's go, check us out. Check us out, let's go. So, as we go and take a look at for Danny Garcia as they both exchange uh, pleasantries, you know, if Garcia is unable to put away Ivan Redcatch, I don't think that's necessarily a knock on him. But does it do him any favors? Uh, probably not. Still, though, Danny Garcia is one of the world's best. And no question, he uh, is put together a masterful performance, and Red Catch has just sort of been there and been moving scenery. He has been a, uh, I wouldn't say a moving punching bag, but getting close to it, to be quite frank with you. There's a straight left to the body by Redcatch. Oh, <laughs> 
Just over the midway part of the 12th. <laughs> Danny Garcia has been controlling this fight from start to finish. It's a way for him to get back in the ring after he wiped out Adrian Granados. And very interested to see what is next for Danny Garcia. That's for Ivan Redcatch. Possibly stay at 47. Maybe drop to 40 again because I think that 40, 40 is his best weight. But Danny Garcia went off, put together a clinic. And it has been all DSG here tonight before a terrific crowd here at Barclays Center. Should be 120 to 108 across the board. And uh, we will see what happens. Danny Garcia, who knows? Maybe this will entice Manny Pacquiao to fight him. Potentially Errol Spence. with Danny Garcia for 12 rounds and likely I believe Jimmy Lennon Jr. has the decision and let's try to a close. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Tony Paolillo scores about 118 to 110. Judges Don Trella and Glenn Feldman both scored about 117 to 111. All three in favor of the winner, the WBC Silver Champion, Danny Swift Garcia. So Danny Garcia gets a unanimous decision victory over Ivan Redcatch. May Redcatch withstood some big punches. Credit to him on his chin. And now we go to Jim Gray. Thank you very much. Danny, how would you describe this fight? Uh, you were dominant, but I'm sure you're probably a little disappointed as well. Yeah. Well, first of all, you know, I want to thank God. 
I want to thank Team Garcia. I want to thank all my fans in Brooklyn who came out to watch me fight. Thank you. I want to thank Al Heyman, Showtime, and everyone around the world who supported me. But um, yeah, uh, I felt like, I thought the referee was going to stop it because I was, you know, I felt like I was punishing him. But, um, you know, he's a tough guy. He hung in there. I wanted to get the KO. I didn't get it. But I felt like I boxed smart to the end. I got the rounds in. And I feel like that's what I needed after a nine-month layoff. Even though I really wanted to knock out bad, but I'll accept this. How did you accept being bitten there in the eighth round? Yeah, he bit me on my, uh, he bit me. He said, he Mike, he said Mike Tyson when he bit me. <laughs> and you said? I said, ref, he bit me. I thought he bit, I thought, I thought I need stitches or something. There it is right there. Yeah. Well, perhaps a rabies or a tetanus shot is in order. Oh, I might need something after that. Yeah, that's my first time ever getting bit in a fight. Hey, things happen, though. I've been in a street fight before, so I've been, did, I did it all. Danny, you hadn't fought since last April. Um, any rust? Did the inactivity in any way uh, shape this performance? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I felt good, but I didn't feel my best. Maybe, maybe that was the case. Um, and I did lose a lot of weight for this fight. So maybe that played a factor, you know, from a long layoff and, uh, and just losing so much weight. I lost about 25 pounds in eight weeks. So uh, Why did you let it get to that point? Man, you know, I'm eating good. <laughs> I'm getting That's paid. not like dad. Yes. Dad. No, but um, I promised myself to stay in the gym now and stay in shape. Nick, thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you, Heyman. Thank you, my team. Thank you, support, man. This is a good fight. Yes, sir. Good luck next fight. Yes, sir. So back to that, the conditioning. Why did you let it get to that point? I didn't know it was that big. You know, I felt regular. Then when I got on the scale, I was like, whoa. So maybe that played a factor. Maybe it didn't. I make no excuses. I felt good. I felt, I didn't feel my best, but I felt good. So this should have been the night, had there not been the accident, that you would have fought Errol Spence. Yeah. And now, don't know who you'll fight next. Will it be Spence? Maybe Manny Pacquiao? What would you like to do? You know, either or. You know, um, any of those fights I would like to have. No preference? No, I think, I think my style fits great with both fighters, Errol Spence or Manny Pacquiao, or even a rematch with Keith Thurman or Mikey Garcia. There's a lot to pick from there. Yes, Danny, sir. congratulations. Thanks for your time.